Hi everybody, here we are in the uh, first of a series of videos over simple machines. This time we are dealing with pulleys. Okay, so we have two types of pulleys that we need to be interested in. We have the fixed pulley and we have the movable pulley and they have different mechanical advantages and of course that is always the concern is what is the mechanical advantage and how much weight am I able to lift whenever I use a simple machine or what's the distance involved. Okay, so still doing that same trade-off here. Here we go. So first of all uh, with the fixed pulley what it means is this little black line here with these dashes means that's kind of some mounted surface as a movable or sorry an immovable surface something that's going to keep put and so I've tied the pulley to that okay so like maybe the ceiling and I have a pulley hanging from it I've got a 10 pound weight I'm gonna drape a rope over the top and I'm gonna pull down so my effort force is going downward here okay and so what I want you to notice is um, as I pull downward okay is that this rope has to be able to provide 10 word, 10 pounds of upward force okay 10 pounds of upward force needs to be provided right here which means that the tension on the rope is the same everywhere so I've got 10 pounds of downward force here if I want to think about it that way that 10 pounds is coming over here that means that I still have to provide 10 pounds of effort force in order to make this machine this this object come off the ground okay so whenever I'm calculating a mechanical advantage and I know the mechanical advantage is the effort or the, the force that I get out over the force that I put in. In this case, it's 10 over 10. So the mechanical advantage of that system is simply one. That means I don't get any stronger and I don't have to pull down any more than whatever, you know, one foot down on this rope is going to be one foot up on the left side, okay, because it's the same rope. Okay, the mechanical advantage is one of that particular system. So the only thing really that pulley does is it changes the direction. It allows me to pull down instead of up. So that's with a fixed pulley, okay? With a movable pulley, the difference would be this. So I have the thing, the string mounted instead of the pulley. I have the string mounted and I have the rope hanging down here and it goes underneath the pulley and then I put a pull upward on it, okay? And so if I have a 10 pound force, once again, there, okay? If I go through and I look at the forces involved, if I have 10 pounds of downward force on this pulley, that means I have 10 upward in order to provide equilibrium where nothing's moving. And so five pounds is going to be on this rope and five pounds is going to be on this rope, okay? Five and five add up to the 10. And what that means then is that effort force on the right hand side is only five pounds, right? It's this one, okay? I only need to pull up with five pounds of force. And so when I go to calculate mechanical advantage and I'm calculating the load that I lifted over how much I had to put in, well this time the mechanical advantage is uh, 10 pounds of force over the five pounds that I put in. The mechanical advantage is two. So I got twice as strong. I got twice as strong by using a movable pulley instead of a fixed pulley. And so if you need a shortcut then, the, the idea is how am I going to figure out what kind of mechanical advantage I have? You either have a mechanical advantage of one or two probably out of all of our pulleys, but it's a little bit easier than that, okay? The idea is this, the ideal mechanical advantage, which is what we're going to be doing in every single one of these, right? Ideally, if friction is not taken into account, if that's not part of the problem, I need to count the number of strands, and by strands we mean ropes, okay? strands of the rope. So here I have two strands, here I have two strands, that's what I'm kind of looking at, those things, that oppose the force directionally, okay? And so I look here and I say, okay, this force is pulling downward, yeah? Well, I'm pulling down on this rope, therefore they're not going the opposite direction, so it does not get counted in the number of strands. I only have one strand that's providing upward force, that's this guy right here. So the mechanical advantage is one. Over here though, this rope is pulling up, and I'm also pulling up on this rope, and because those are both up and this is a downward force, that means I have one, two strands pulling upward, that means my mechanical advantage is two. And so for a simple pulley system, which is what you have here, a single pulley, we're just simply counting the number of strands that oppose the force, and that gives us the mechanical advantage. Um, the one last thing that I want to point out then is this. The movable pulley, if I get a mechanical advantage of two, that means I also have to pull up twice as far in order to get this thing to move. Okay, So for every foot that I pull up, it's only going to rise six inches off the ground. So we do have a trade-off with distance as always with our simple machines. But that should get you started on your simple machine problems.